This is yet another example that when something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Alex and Paul in their latest venture, a computer shop offering amazing deals that are impossible to turn down. But there has to be a catch. This is the hardware hustle. Do you like a computer upgrade? No? They put up flyers offering laptop owners the fantastic offer of a free memory upgrade worth £60. It's an offer too good to be true. But what is the scam? Keep watching to find out. Okay. Our cameras are in place so you won't miss a thing. We've even got one tucked behind a two-way mirror. It's not long before they have their first customer. Hi there. How are you doing? Jess waits outside. She's the convincer. A satisfied customer who will subliminally convince the mark that the shop and staff are legitimate. All the applications will open faster, operate a lot faster, so you That's can run a lot more things. <laughs> yeah. If you want to go for two gig, we can give you a really good price on that as well. Jess goes in to do her bit. Let's give you the... Um, 512 upgrade for free, and we'll check in another gig for you. But I'll, we'll charge you half price, so for 60, you'll get, get, get a gig and a half, which will bring your computer up to two gigabytes RAM, which is huge. Our victim doesn't need Jess's convincer. The boy's sales putter has got him to agree to pay £60 for some extra memory in addition to his free upgrade. Five o'clock? He is happy to leave his laptop to be fitted out, ready for collection at five o'clock. Okay, well, appreciate it. Thank you. Cheers, good to meet you, Mike. Thank you. And give us a call, yeah? Yeah, okay. okay. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers, Mike. Bye. And here comes the scam. I think this is quite a nice one. Yeah. I'll just uh, put it up, put this one on the display. Yeah. Our real hustlers have no intention of giving back any of the laptops that are left with them today. Very nice. Thank you, Mike. Yeah, about 1,200. Not bad for a day's work. Yeah. Instead, they are going to do a runner, and their customers are going to have a nasty surprise in store when they return. Smashing. Another victim is drawn into the trap. Hi there. Hiya. Afternoon. Hiya. Um, I'm just coming to find out about the free upgrade. Ah, oh, yes. OK. And you get a 512 megabyte upgrade for free. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. If you're interested, you can so you're give you a... Um, As Jess play acts with Alex, Paul persuades her to buy extra memory in addition to her free upgrade. She agrees, and that's another double whammy. She's lost her cash and her laptop. Okay, you want a big credit card? Thank, Thank you very much. OK, Jessica. see you later. Well, I can have these for you, Jessica. That's about two grand. Sweet. Okay, can we display it as well? Put that one over there. Put that one up here. We'll sell for 1200 that way. It's a bargain for them, and it's an absolute bargain for us. Trade is steady throughout the day. This customer joins the growing list of victims. All right, great. Cheers. Take care. Roger. Yeah, we need the same All right. It's time to go. The team clear out the shop and count their ill-gotten gains. Right, how do we do? <laughs> that is about eight grand. Right, let's clear everything out. The real hustlers pack up the shop and clear out, leaving no trace. Half an hour later, the victims return one by one to pick up their laptops, only to discover an empty shop. It soon dawns on them they've been had. Lucky for them, although they don't know it yet, that they are going to get their laptops back. But what is their initial reaction to the scam? They seem really nice. They knew what they were talking about. I, I went along, totally believed them. They've taken my laptop and they've got a grand's worth of goods and it was obviously a bit of a scam. I guess if an offer's uh, too good to be true, then it probably is too good to be true. I'd go somewhere with a reputation next time. <laughs>